So here we are, a reveal from Modern Warfare 2 yesterday, a full gameplay reveal for campaign today. Today we're showcasing this footage and letting you know everything you need to because while it's a pretty straightforward mission, there's a few details and things that you'll want to be aware of. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to anything in particular with Modern Warfare 2's campaign or the game overall? How are you feeling about the reveal so far? Personally, I'm really looking forward to seeing where the story goes. I was a big fan of the narrative in Modern Warfare 2019. I thought they did a pretty good job of giving us another storyline utilizing the world of Modern Warfare while also not doing anything to detract from the original trilogy a kind of nice homage to it and building out their own lore but anyways drop your thoughts down below and if you enjoy the video you like the look of it you're excited for modern warfare 2 whatever do me a favor and drop a like on the video and of course if you're new to the channel do be sure that subscribe button stay with all things modern warfare 2 this is just the tip of the iceberg we have so much to discuss still coming over the course of the next coming days so make sure you're here for all of it and finally in celebration of modern warfare 2's reveal my friends over at g fuel have bumped up code espresso to 30 percent off this weekend so if you're wanting to try anything out for the very first time grab a restock whatever the case now is as best a time as any. Personally, I'd recommend Pink Trip, the new Morbius Nectarine flavor, Hype Sauce, Strawberry Banana, and Starfruit as my top five right now. Can't go wrong with any of those, but that said, check the link in the description below, but let's get into the gameplay itself. As a part of Summer Games Fest, Infinity Ward brought along footage of Operation Dark Water, set off the coastline described in-game as the Atlantic Ocean, though in a blog post officially detailing everything, stating it's the Gulf of Mexico, so somewhere off in that crossover period. But the mission set for October 22nd of 2022, which right up front kind of answers the question of how close to modern are we taking it with Modern Warfare 2. With Modern Warfare 2019, we had Clean House and other missions taking place on the 27th of October, two days after the launch of the game, so while this game has us already looking back a few days prior to when the game launches on the 28th, I imagine we'll see some crossover, but just like Modern Warfare 2019, it's meant to be a truly present tense game. For this mission, we're first approaching an oil rig, which is thought to house some controls for an impending missile launch we're tasked with stopping. This is sort of skeleton crew, but a skeleton crew of the best of the best because we have this mission ghost soap alejandro and philip graves alejandro being mexican special forces and graves running point for shadow company with a bunch of other unnamed members on our team as well but we have task force 141 mexican special forces and the shadow company all working together Interestingly, we do seem to hear Shepard, which makes a whole lot of sense if we draw parallels, of course, to the original Modern Warfare series. And to be fair, he was mentioned by name in Modern Warfare 2019. He just didn't have any voice lines or show up in the game at that point. But seems like he's playing a bigger role here in this one, and I'm curious to see where it goes. What I do find interesting, though, is that it kind of seems like they're keeping him close to the chest if this is indeed Shepard, because even in the official blog post, the voice is described as another high-level officer back at headquarters. So who knows if it is, but if I'm a betting man, that's what I'm putting out there. As for the mission and gameplay, right up front, I'm a big fan of the seamless transition from infill to playable experience. I do think that that kind of sacrifices a bit in that graphical department since it's rendering characters and models real time in game as opposed to queuing up video files and then transferring from there. But that's also something we could see change by launch. I also really dig the semi stealth aspect to it, everything being calculated, working as a team with your unit. And I like the weapons we end up seeing. If we're talking Modern Warfare 2019, you see that Fennec for the player, but I'm hoping that turns just out to become the vector. and I a few other weapons that I'm looking to get ironed out here for a full weapons video we'll have maybe tomorrow or the day after. I'm not gonna lie, we may have passed it in the playthrough already, but my god, for whatever reason, I had the biggest chuckle at whenever the body splats on the oil rig. It's just such a weird sound effect for that. Take a listen. But features wise, I was kind of surprised that it looks like stationary mounting is back, whereas Vanguard made a few, if you want to call it, improvements to it where you could move while mounting. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea and may not have been a good thing added depending on who you ask, but kind of curious that we saw upgrades to that system with Vanguard, but it seems like we won't be seeing that with Modern Warfare 2, not going that step further. It was cool to see the water pushing back on the player while on the boats. It was cool to see the active environments of the containers shift in the gameplay sequence when you get to the main ship breach, but there's also lots of cool stuff here showcased but of course, it's only a quick glimpse of what's to come. Narratively, I am really curious to see where this goes. I would imagine this is one of the earlier missions, so there's probably going to be quite a few plot twists here, and of course, the story is always bigger than we think when we go into it, so that's something that I'm excited to see how it all pans out, but for right now, that is the mission we got here, and I'll leave you with the rest of it in its full, unedited entirety for the rest of this video, but let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys looking forward to Modern Warfare 2's campaign, multiplayer, the Warzone 2 experience? Whatever the case, drop it down below, but if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing writing all things Modern Warfare 2. Again, just the tip of the iceberg, I think we have a second video going live later tonight, so make sure you stick it here for all of that. But that said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
Roger that. Confirm when the objective is neutralized. Open. Where are the controls? On that damn ship. Actual, we got a problem. Missile was somewhere on the ship. You have your orders, son. Stop that launch. Now, get early access to the open page. 